Today on Try This at Home, we're going to show you how to set up a USB storage as network attached storage on DDWRT. A couple things to check quick. If you're going to use an NTFS formatted drive, make sure you have a big build. Now you can check if you have a big build in the upper right hand corner of your router's status page or any of your router's administration pages. It'll have right up here firmware DDWRT V24 SP2 then the date it was built and then the type of build it is. Mine says big. The big builds have NTFS support whereas most of the other builds or actually all the other builds only have FAT and EXT3 support as well as a couple other file systems. But if you have the big build then you can use FAT EXT3 or NTFS, which are going to be your three most common um, file systems. So go ahead, log into your router, go to the Services tab, USB, enable Core USB support, enable USB storage, and enable Automatic Drive Mount. And you can change your disk mount point if you want. I just left it as Opt, and hit Apply Settings. Now as you see here, comes up disk info, shows the disk name, which we'll have to remember this. You're going to need this information right here. Um, the size of the device, which as you can see this is only 3.5 gigs because it's a thumb drive. I can't find any of my other hard drives because I'm in the process of moving. It tells us what partition map it's got. This one of course being a DOS partition map. Okay, now that you've got this done, switch to your NAS tab right up here, also in services and you can use either FTP or SAMBA. Okay, so go ahead and enable SAMBA because that's what we're going to use today. And then for a server string, put in something like DDWRT. Put in something for your work group. I'm setting it to work group. Um, now this is where you need that information from the previous one. Remember it was disk zero. So here we have temp mount disk zero part one. And it's in there four times for whatever reason. Um, but select part one, which is the first partition on disk zero. So select that, put a name to it, drive, check the public access box if you want public access, otherwise add a user and you know give them permission to use it. So then once you've got that all set up how you want, hit apply settings. Wait for it to finish processing. After you've got that set up, sometimes you have to give it a couple minutes. Um, I've found Samba takes a while to start on DDWRT. Um, go to your network in whatever your favorite file browser is and go to your work group and you'll see DDWRT showed up here. Double click on that. And here's our drive. Now there's nothing on there right now. So let's grab a video. And there it is. You've now got USB network attached storage with your DDWRT router. So Hope you enjoyed watching this. If you need any additional help, um, let me know. Leave a comment um, or post on the forums. And um, thanks for watching.